this is one of my passwords and this is another one actually i don't even remember them <laughs> you need to be die hard to just type that so how i can set them as my different websites password watch a video until the end i'm going to tell you so why beat bar them okay quick if you go to the download part you will see it supports lots of devices windows mac os linux all of the browsers are visible and you can install Bitwarden extension on them because of that we will choose Bitwarden app right now we are going to install Bitwarden extension on the Google Chrome I did on that and Bitwarden extension appear in here and I press on add to Chrome adding that on Chrome is easy just hit on the add extension and I will put this link on the description of the video so you can easily click on that and see the extension tab okay right now bitburner is added you will click on this puzzle icon and pin bitburner in here you need to hit on get started how to install bitburner on edge open your edge browser paste the link hit on edge and press on the get it will be look like google chrome if you hit on the get it will be downloaded and you need to like how to install the windows application click on here and as you can see it supports windows 10 and 11 only if you have windows 7 windows 8 it's not going to be useful for you and the windows app is not going to be installed i hit on the download okay as you can see the file it's just an installer if i download it click on that it will start receiving the files okay because it's my personal computer i save it as all users and right now it's going to download the packets run the bitwarden i hit and finish installing bitwarden on android devices and ios devices are easy go to your play store search bitwarden you will see the app click on the download one or the install one wait until this process finished and after that open the application okay on this tab you need to type your email address type your name and in here you need to type your master password and you need to know a few notes so watch this part carefully you can only set a hint for your master password if you forgot your master password you cannot recover that and i mean you cannot log in into your account so all of the passwords that you saved are going to be useless you cannot see them okay because of that i recommend you to write your master password and put it in a safe physical vault or i mean put it in a safe place then you need to retype your master password and set a hint for that again click in here and hit on create account so i'm going to create account and as you can see this is google password manager i'm not going to use that one i don't recommend browsers password managers for two reasons the reason number one is lack of security i mean if anyone has your windows password he can easily log in and see all of the passwords that you saved the reason number two is i cannot use it anywhere i mean if i save a password onto my chrome browser i cannot easily have that on the firefox browser edge browser or i mean in different places because of these two reasons i don't recommend browsers password managers okay i see the hint and click on create account on this app, we are going to log in into our Bitwarden website and we can just hit on the checkbox that shows remember email. This website is not going to have the option to remember the password because of the high security that it has. So I hit on the continue. Again, I need to type my massive password and press on the login. Okay, for now, we log in into our Bitwarden app you see our profile in here and in here we have some options we are going to log in onto the git button with using the extension 
right now we like bin as you can see we have some options in here we have settings we have generator send vault and tap and if you hit on the generator you can generate new passwords you can add lens as you can see this one is 24 lens if you want you can generate user names too okay on here we will see password type passport or passphrase if you set it as passphrase it will be like digital currency wallets such as trust wallets as you can see create different random words and set them as your passphrase look like trust wallet and digital currency wallets but we don't want that and i set it on the password you can change the length of it and i recommend you to use 24 characters as password lens it is a minimum password lens and it is on set as five it will use capital letters small letters numbers and i recommend you to enable this one too password history you will see the history that you generate passwords in here and if you want you can clear that there is no password on the list so this is the setup of the Password generator tab and if you want to you can copy that and if you hit on this icon you can change the password element. So let's like in into a website or create account into a website to see how this app is going to save our password. Okay, right now I'm on Discord and right now i'm going to log in so i type the password and the phone number if i hit on login we will see should be pardon remember this password for you save and if you want you can set a folder for that i will press on the save so bit pardon save this password for us right now we log in into discord it using bit pardon and Bitwarden save our password in here. I go to my vault on the Bitwarden and in here I hit on the new and set new folder. I need to type a name for that. For example, I name it on social media and hit on save. As you can see, I have another folder in here. And if I go to the extension of my Bitwarden, I can see another folder that created for me on the social media to organize the passwords i recommend you to save them on the folders so this one does not have any folders i click on it in here i need to click on the edit in here change the folder to the social media i can set it as favorite and i can press on master password reprompt if i want i can add, add attachments i can type some notes for example, this is my Discord account, anything, you can type anything and you can also add custom fields on it. You can add custom fields like test, hidden, boolean, linked. For example, I press on the boolean and click on custom item. okay i type something and i hit on the checkbox and if i want i can disable the checkbox and delete that one if i click in here i can also delete the item that i have what is new url good for as you can see i am again on the discord but in another type of id i can press on new url copy that url and paste it in here right now if i go to this website the Bitwarden can understand and bring this username and password for me to log in. This is good for example in some places that username and passwords are to be same. As an example if you have two Amazon accounts that one of them is global and the other one is based on your country you can use the same username and password with this way. I save the changes item saved as you can see on the social media folder i have one passwords okay i'm going to sign up an account with using my email i click on the sign up type my first name type my email set a password so how we can set password with bitwarden 
click on the Bitwarden extension, go to the generator, generate a password, copy that and paste it, again re-enter it, and create account. When you create your, your account, in here you will see should Bitwarden remember this password for you or not. Here you can select a folder for that. For example, we create a social media folder. I click on it and I hit on this save. So if you don't like to save, for example, this website password on the Bitwarden, you can simply press on close. And if you don't want Bitwarden save any passwords, you can hit on the never. I'm not recommending you to hit on the never. So if you want, you can simply press on close. I save it on the social media folder that I created and hit on the save. It will be easily saved on the Bitwarden. On the vaults, we have different types, login, card, identity, secure notes. If you press on add item, you can add a secure note for yourself. For example, set a name for it, then type a note for yourself and save it. It will be saved on your vault. Okay, on the settings, we will have folders. If you hit on the plus, you can create another folder for yourself. If you hit on the autofill, it is the settings for autofill the website passwords and usernames. I'm not going to change that one. Okay, what is Sync Vault now going to do? If you save a password on your PC, personal computer, or laptop, I mean anything, and you want to use it on your another device such as your phone, you need to sync Bitwarden to use that password. It will be auto sync in an hour, I think. But if you want to right now manually sync that and have it on your phone, you can hit on sync vault manually and the sync is complete. Excluded domains. You can set a specific domains when you launch that domains and I mean when you go to that website, Bitwarden is not going to autofill your username and passwords. In here on the security tab, you will see vault timeout and vault timeout action. For example, after the browser restart, what Bitwarden does to protect my password is lock, lock the Bitwarden. If I press on the logout, Bitwarden is going to be locked out and I need to retype the master password. Because it's my PC and it's in my home, I set it as locked, but if I have a laptop, I set it as logout. You can change even on the browser result, you can set it on never, you can set custom, you can add minutes, hours, or on system lock. It's good, I'm not going to change it. Unlike with pin, unlike with biometrics, it is good option for phone. For example, if you have Bitwarden on your Android device, iOS device, it does not matter. You, I recommend you to enable this checkbox, unlike with biometrics. So if you have iPhone device, it will be unlike with Face ID. And if you have Android device, it will be unlike with fingerprint. And that is good. I recommend you to enable the checkbox on your phone settings. Export and import vault passwords if you want to have them in another place. You can export and import them. For example, if I press on export, I need to type my master password, choose the format of this export file that I'm going to receive. On the option part, okay, what is the clear clipboard in here? Because Bitwarden is going to autofill our passwords, the passwords that we have are going to be saved into our Windows clipboard. So after a specific time, it will clear the clipboard. So your passwords are going to be saved and you don't have that on your clipboard. And I press logo plus V. I, you can see I saved lots of passwords in here. Okay, in here, on the vault password manager if you go to the settings security you can see to a sub login if you press on here you need to press on the view recovery code type your master password 